morning everybody. I'm going to talk you through this six mark analyse question. Analyse the reasons why doctors are paid more than nurses. The things to mainly get into this answer, the main reason why doctors are paid more than nurses, is to do with the supply of labour in the two different markets. For doctors, there's a much lower supply of labour. There aren't as many people putting themselves into the market to be doctors. And on that point, you can go into more detail about things like the qualifications that they need, the time taken to train, the expense of training, and also the skills that you need. So the level of ability that you need to be able to train to be a doctor in the first place. All of these things contribute to there being a low supply of labour when it comes to doctors. When you look at nurses, there's actually going to be a relatively higher supply. Be careful because in the UK, we actually for years now have had a shortage of nurses as well. But the idea, if you look at the whole market for doctors and then you look at the whole market for nurses, is that there are going to be less people who really are going to be able to train to be a doctor because of these factors which you need to take into account. So these would be the main things to talk about. You could then go on as well for the higher marks, probably five or six out of six, would be to talk about the price elasticity of supply of labour in both of the markets. And I'll show you in the diagrams in a moment. For doctors, the price elasticity of supply will be more inelastic. And that's because less people are available to be doctors. So even if, if the quantity demanded for doctors goes up, there are going to be less available to do the job. So therefore, if you see an increase in the quantity demanded, you'll see a very big increase in the wages that are offered to doctors. And I'll just show you that over here in these diagrams. So remember that if you're looking at labour market diagrams, this axis needs to say wage rate because you pay people a wage. You don't pay a price for people. And these are quantity. Remember, supply in the sky. And you can see in this diagram, this is the one for doctors, that the supply curve is relatively inelastic. It looks more like an eye. And you could see, therefore, that if there's an increase in demand for doctors from D to D1, you see that there's a really significant increase in the wage rate here. It goes from W to W1. We're not at the moment looking at the quantity, but you can see if you wanted to, this is why it's, this shows it's inelastic because the percentage change in quantity demanded is much smaller than the percentage change in the wage rate. And in this market here, this would be for nurses. And you can see here that the price elasticity of supply is much more elastic. I've drawn it almost with unitary elasticity. And so if we had an increase in the demand for nurses, there would be an increase in the wage rate. But relative to the change in the quantity, it is actually, in my diagram, it's about the same. But this won't be as significant the change because remember if something if your price elasticity of supply is inelastic a percentage change in wage in this case leads to a smaller percentage change in quantity demanded and here the price elasticity of supply or wage elasticity of supply really it should be is elastic and that means that a percentage change in the wage rate leads to a greater percentage change in the quantity demanded and supplied. Although in my diagram, it's actually unitary. These are equal to each other. But the point is that there's a difference between if you have an increase in the demand for doctors, there'll be a very big increase in the wage rate. So this really is the diagram that you would want to put um, in the exam question. 
And then you could explain that if there was an increase in the quantity demanded of doctors, you'd see a very big increase in the wage rate. And in the next video, I will quickly explain just what you need to do to get all of the marks in the question.